Hello again, this uh, this is the Valiant Turbo Max, probably my favourite boiler and probably one of the best boilers that Valiant have ever made. But the problem we're going to address or look at for this particular video is address the, the main problem with overpressuring of the system. Now this can be caused by two different things, it can be caused by the filling mechanism being left permanently on or the filling valves left or leaking or letting by, which means the pressure goes up and stays up here in the red constantly or the other problem is is where the pressure gauge rises dramatically very very rapidly when you put the heating on and the gauge goes very very high up into the red and then a couple of days later or over a period of a couple of days you come back and you find that the pressure has dropped right down to zero now this is purely down to one factor one factor only and that's going to be the expansion vessel requires charging so it's a very common problem and it's, again it's very much overlooked by your average heat engineer or plumber. Now then, we can do a little test, or you can, so you can basically work out what's going on with your boiler before you call someone in so you know what they need to do. Now, as you can see at the moment on this particular Termax, which is in the workshop, the needle is on the green in number one. Now what you need to do is to set that up at that pressure when the heating system is cold. You then put the heating on, turn it up nice and high, up until about 2 o'clock, sit back, make yourself a nice cup of tea, and wait. And if within about 10 minutes or so, you come back, or while you're around in the area, watch the gauge. Now if the gauge goes right up into the critical red zone, that is a clear indication that your expansion vessel has no charge in it. Which means you need to call someone in, and preferably get them to charge it properly. Now, just by sticking a, a hand pump on there and just giving it 20 squirts with a hand pump isn't necessarily a very good idea. Um, and it probably won't do the trick and the problem will reoccur very, very rapidly or quickly within a short space of time of them actually carrying out the repair. So it's a good idea to make sure that it's actually completely emptied, pumped out and recharged properly. And then, hopefully, to recheck to make sure that the expansion vessel's held its charge and it's working okay, you can do exactly the same test Simply leave the gauge on around about the one, put your heating on, turn it up nice and high, watch the gauge and it should only move by about 10 to 20% increase in the cold pressure after it's got hot. So there you go. The other thing to watch out for obviously is the discharge pipe here which is this copper one, it usually runs to outside. If you're getting discharge out of that pipe, especially when your heating's on and the pressure's very high, that is where you're going to be losing the water. So again, that needs to be checked, cleaned and reset just in case. But other than that, that should give you some indication of what's causing the problem and hopefully you should be able to carry out that little test all on your own and then you will be pre-armed with some information before anyone turns up and uh, to carry out the recharge of your expansion vessel. Thanks very much.